we're going to show off a demo of the uh, the new functionality that we've built into Archer, and we have integrated AI into Archer, um, specifically Chat GPT, and we're really excited about this and really want to show off what this can do. We think it's going to be really impactful. So starting from the login screen in Archer, if you go into the risk register and create a new risk register record, I am going to type the risk of inappropriate changes made to the production ERP system environment. Let's see what we come back with. You can see right here that there's the Q suggestion from chat GPT. So if we were to click save right now, nothing would happen. But if I go ahead and click it and save it, it's going to send a request out to chat GPT to give us some information on this risk. And if you want me to, I can share and show you the results that I have done this earlier. Earlier, I actually performed this check where I checked the, the Q box for suggestions and it goes through and it's fairly quick in how it operates. So it'll come back and give kind of the information that we're looking for. And David will speak a little bit more about what the, how the ask goes out and what, how the results come back. But showing in here that, you know, the search that I did was risk of the insiders gaining access to financial information. Coming back was kind of a restatement of that, but also given a cause and effect, potential laws, regulations, and also this 853 revisions, basically five controls from that. Also, what it is pulling back is our inherent risk, likelihood, and impact. It kind of fills those in with sort of a ratings. And this is uh, taking information as kind of a general um, for the risk that it has pulled the information from. And David, has yours uh, completed? It has, it has. Let me go ahead and share my screen. So you can see that it's come back and it has given us the risk content on the risk statement that we requested. Here's the risk that we requested, inappropriate changes made to the ERP system environment. And you can see it's come back with a one sentence risk statement, which is really good. And we also asked it to give us any related laws or regulations. And you can see that it's come back with a handful of those. We asked for it to give us up to five NIST 853 revision five controls, and you can see it's identified five controls from NIST 853 that are related to this risk. And then we also, if you scroll down, we ask for, on a one to five scale, we ask for a risk rating of uh, likelihood and impact and a reasoning why it gave that score. And you can see it came back with a three for inherent likelihood, and it explains why it gave that rating and you can see that we also got a an impact score and it gives it a five and you can see that it gives good reasoning why so as you can see um this fills out an entire risk record with detailed information related laws and regulations related controls from the framework of your choice and you we can customize the the detail that's going to be included in there if you use a different uh framework or anything like that but it does it in a fraction of the time that it would take a person to manually look up this information, to manually write this content. Um, and this does it in the snap of the fingers almost. It's it's really amazing. And if you, if you think about the time that you would take to complete a risk register and make all these linkages and identifications of impacted laws, related controls, that would take hours. And this does it in seconds. It's amazing. It truly is amazing. And I think it's going to transform the way that we do our work. It's going to transform GRC.